Hi, this is Terry Couty, founder and director of Deep Sea Foundation. I'm very honored today to be interviewing Dr. James Craigie, and he is from the Center for Natural Breast Reconstruction in Charleston, South Carolina. It's so nice to finally meet you in person, Dr. Craigie. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm glad that we could get, to get together. Yeah, me too. Um, so I, I want to talk to you about a topic today that is very important in the process of breast reconstruction, can certainly be part of it with some physicians, and I know that you guys do it. Um, can you talk to us and tell us about restoring sensation to the breast um, after nerves are cut during a mastectomy and um, how that can be restored for a woman? Uh, yes, dear, I'm glad to. Um, our specialty, or what we do, uh, we specialize in doing natural breast reconstruction using the patient's own tissue. Mm -hmm. And so when a woman has a mastectomy, uh, the tissue is removed and we want to replace it with something that is very similar, yes. but not the natural breast. And so we can restore the tissue, we can reconnect the blood supply so that it's living tissue. Mm -hmm. But what the missing point, or the missing part of that process in the past has been restoring the nerves, which yes. are part of the natural tissue. And so there are different ways to do that. Uh, the um, uh, primary way that we do that uh, involves at the time of the flap is finding the sensory nerves that normally innervate the breast mm -hmm. and connecting them to the sensory nerves of the tissue that we're using. So if we've used the tummy, we've taken that fatty, fatty tissue in the skin okay. and uh, we are connecting, we're separating it from the body, but we're leaving a sensory nerve connected to that fatty tissue. Okay. And so we're taking just what we need, that way we don't leave any unnecessarily numb areas in the part of the body that we take the tissue from. Okay, so, so then what you're telling me is the nerve that you are replacing that was cut during the mastectomy comes from the tummy area and you are going to reconnect it into the breast area to restore the sensation. Correct. Okay. Uh, in the past, uh, this has not been done uh, on every every situation because the nerves are not as long as the uh, blood vessels, and the connecting of the blood vessel part has to be successful, or there's not much use in connecting the nerves. Okay, uh, that's good information. And so, in general, there are a couple of ways to do that. Most of the time, a nerve can be identified and prepared and remove uh, with the tissue and then also a nerve can be identified between the ribs uh, that is normally sending out the branches to, to part of the breast. And so during the surgery we, we find those nerves, uh, we take great care in to only take a sensory nerve from the area where we're using the okay. tissue okay. because those nerves also uh, supply the, the, uh, the muscles. So we want a sensory nerve, not a motor nerve. Mm -hmm. uh, so that results in kind of a short nerve. When those two can be brought together, the nerve from the new, new breast, uh, and it can reach the nerve uh, that we're connecting into without it being tight, then we can join those two nerves together. And so then that, the goal of that is to then, as the body heals, uh, the nerves can regenerate across the area that was connected and slowly uh, sensation can be uh, returned. Um, it's, pro it's, not, it's not completely normal, uh, but the more we can return, the better. Yeah, it's it, not like it used to be before the mastectomy, but, but there is the sensation there. Correct. Yes, which is better than nothing. So when you say uh, over time, can you define that for us? Because I would think that that would be different for individual patients, or is it kind of a standard time period that the sensation is restored? Well, it does take time. Uh, the nerves regenerate uh, and grow a millimeter a day, or somewhere about that. I didn't that. know that. Uh, and there, obviously, there's lots of variability. Yes. But in general, we feel like after a year, there's been time for that nerve to regenerate. Okay. And so it becomes important to evaluate the results mm -hmm. at certain times. Mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, usually it's it's after a year that we would want to 
uh, evaluate the sensation and determine what the result was. That's important to know because I don't want women to think up, think up. I don't want women to wake up thinking that's going to be immediate. You know, I think of healing scabs in a very loose term. Nerves have to heal too, just like any wound. So that was a really right. good description that you gave. I have another question, quick question before we wrap up. Um, where is the sensation taking place? Is that variable as well? I know with mine, uh, I mean, just to be honest, my I had this procedure done successfully, and it's underneath the nipple area. Mm -hmm. Does it vary for women? Does it across different areas of the breast? or It certainly can mm -hmm. because the blood supply and the nerve supply is widely variable. Okay. There's overlapping patterns. Uh, and there are different nerves in different places. Mm -hmm. and so the nerve, the sensory nerves tend to go to a certain area to the skin. And so depending on what has been removed, that will determine where skin needs to be on the new breast. Ah. If all the skin has been preserved, then the nerves can actually travel through the fatty tissue okay. uh, and eventually get to the skin. Mm -hmm. So the nerve that you take with the new breast will determine where the sensation is. And so that may be why, uh, it, as you described, there's one area of the breast that, that you have sensation. Uh, and so a lot of that has to be worked out. How mm -hmm. many nerves can we connect? Um, how many do we need to connect? Mm -hmm. uh, and um, so a lot, of, a lot of considerations. Yes. I was going to use the word variability. Yes. So same there's thing. Lots um, of variability. Yeah. I, this is some really great information that you gave us. I really appreciate you doing this video today. Um, I'd like to ask you a follow-up question, but we'll do that in another video. This was really great information today, Dr. Craig, and we truly appreciate your time and, and value mm -hmm. uh, for giving us this information. If you have other uh, questions about this video, please uh, you know, send your questions or comments uh, on the video and um, again great having you today thank you thank you for all you do oh thank you so much it's a pleasure